Breaking news. Good evening. I'm Leslie Foster. The woman who has accused Virginia's lieutenant governor of forcing her to perform oral sex on him is ready to meet with prosecutors. It turns out it's not too late for Justin Fairfax to possibly face charges. This news broke as he was presiding over the state Senate at the Capitol in Richmond. I asked Lorenzo Hall to head there and press the lieutenant governor for answers. Yeah, the longer this drags out, the nastier it gets. When we approached the lieutenant governor tonight about this latest twist, he was a bit mum. Did you say anything to uh, Ms. Tyson at all? About her recent accusations that you're trying to obstruct justice? Thank you guys. Heading home, had a good day. Thank you guys. Justin Fairfax's accusers say they have a lot to tell lawmakers and law enforcement. They just want the opportunity to do so. And it's happening soon for his first accuser, Vanessa Tyson, who's meeting with prosecutors in the Boston area where she says Fairfax forced her to give him oral sex back in 2004. Right now, Tyson is just trying to work out a date to meet with the DA. While Fairfax was here at work, she also accused his spokeswoman of threatening her by suggesting Fairfax would initiate criminal charges if Tyson presses charges against him. This comes a day after Tyson spoke at a Me Too related event at a Stanford University symposium. You're made to feel alone. You're isolated. While Fairfax isn't saying much for himself tonight, his spokeswoman did send me a statement just a short time ago, essentially saying Fairfax would also meet with those same prosecutors in the Boston area if they decide to launch an investigation. And Fairfax would cooperate fully with the expectation that the truth will clear his name. Meanwhile, here at the Capitol, there's a growing sense of urgency among lawmakers that they have to take some sort of action before session ends next week. But what that looks like, they're still not sure. In Richmond, I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9. Leslie. We have